Now, as I said earlier, it, look, art came back even stronger after the big pandemic shock, but we seem to be in a totally different environment right now. Right now, this seems to be happening because of rising yields. How do you come back even stronger this time? Oh, well, truth wins out. Uh, we know that uh, our focus on disruptive innovation uh, is going to be very productive. We're, we're focused on five platforms involving 14 technologies, all of which are moving into exponential growth trajectories. And beyond that, uh, many of these technologies are converging. So autonomous taxi networks are comprised of three technologies or three platforms, robotics, Autonomous vehicles are robots. Uh, electric, they will be electric. It's, uh, electric is going to be the cheapest uh, way to go. And uh, artificial intelligence, they will be powered by artificial intelligence. Now, uh, those are three S-curves coming together and we think they're going to cause explosive and highly profitable growth. Uh, and I don't think most research departments are set up to uh, focus on innovation this way. They're very siloed, specialized. Uh, we're focused on platforms. They're focused on sectors. Um, and we're focused on the 14 different technologies associated with those platforms. These S curves are going to collide and, and create so much positive energy that we think analysts, traditional analysts especially, are going to be uh, gobsmacked, shall I say, by how powerful okay. these are going to be. I'm curious, Kathy, what's your relationship with Elon Musk? How much contact do you have with him? What kind of conversations have you had? Any fun and crazy stories? No, we did our, our, our podcast. Actually, the way we do our research is uh, uh, we will speak with IR. We don't want any special treatment, but we have a five-year time horizon. And so we are really asking more technology questions than anything about the short term. So you can see from the podcast, I think March of 19, as the stock was cascading downward, uh, we had a fa fantastic, Tasha Kini and I had a fantastic uh, podcast with Elon. And that, that uh, podcast is evergreen because again, we're talking about long-term time horizons. So you'll see how brilliant he is and how focused he is. Uh, on, on Tesla. And we did talk uh, about the crypto uh, decision, the decision to shift some cash into crypto. Uh, certainly we were fully supportive of that. Uh, any uh, company on the right side of change uh, should, should do uh, diversify in that way. Okay, but should he keep diversifying or is one and a half billion enough for you? Um, you know, I'll leave that to, to their judgment. We, we, of course, and I know they believe they should keep enough cash on their balance sheet to support uh, uh, their operations. And uh, I think with the focus on their cash, uh, that, that they are not going to do anything wild and crazy here.